Ann Kovach, the Associate Program Director for the Blue Ridge Music Center. I'd like to welcome you to the discussion series of Place in the Band, Women in Bluegrass and American Roots Music. This series is part of a project by the Blue Ridge Music Center that began in 2020 to honor the 100th anniversary of women being granted the right to vote. A Place in the Band celebrates the triumphs and explores the struggles faced by women in bluegrass and American roots music. In this discussion series, North Carolina singer, songwriter, and social activist, Laura Lynn Dossett, speaks with women in the music business, including musicians and others involved in music management and promotion roles. Through these conversations, the women share their stories, talking about their role models, mentors, and inspirations, experiences with people they've worked with, issues they've encountered that are specific to women in the industry, changes they've seen over the years, and other parts of their own personal journeys that have helped them to be who they are today. These individual stories show us the collective strength and future possibilities for women in bluegrass and American roots music. I hope you enjoy the series and thank you for joining us. Hello, my name is Laurel and Dossett, and today we're talking with Tracy Thomas of Tracy Thomas Management. From her early days doing publicity for Merle Fest and multiple bluegrass and Americana artists, she's moved into artist management, working with John Moreland, St. Paul and the Broken Bones, and Jason Isbell. Being an artist manager is another one of those jobs that's behind the scenes. If you're a music fan, which I'm assuming a lot of you are, it's not a job you see, but it's a super important job. If you're an artist, your job is to make music, make records, write songs, practice your instrument, be a creator. But to be a person who does that in this business, there's all this other stuff that has to happen. So many answering of email and press requests and booking and scheduling. And artists can't do that alone. So that's one, you know, those sorts of daily minutia, that's part of what an artist manager does. Bigger picture, an artist manager is an advocate for the artist and for the music you will not find a more fierce advocate for music and for her artists than Tracy Thomas. So one of the things that some of the, the women I've already talked to um, who are artists in the field as opposed to agents or you know, other, other uh, more on the business side of things, um, They've talked about the importance of seeing more female faces off stage and behind the scenes, you know, both in the technical realm and in the management realm. Have things changed over the last 20 plus years or do you see a difference? Do you see more female faces in different roles or not? Do you, do you have thoughts about that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, you know, in some ways, you know, I live in a bubble. You get to a certain point, you don't have to be out schmoozing. You just like, again, kind of, I keep my head down and, do my job but like even in mainstream country you know like Luke Bryan and Maren Morris both have female managers as right. is Miranda Lambert you know um so I do feel like you're I'm, you, I'm seeing more and more female managers um I wish there were more um I wish there were some better managers out there that I could refer people to that come knocking on our door right um, even when I talked like I was hoping that some of those kids would turn into, you know, managers, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, there's, you know, there's a whole movement here of like women in, in, in music and trying to make sure that more people, you know, get recognized and like, you know, like last night, Marin, you know, recognized uh, like Rhiannon and some, a lot of other like young black country artists. Right. Uh, in her acceptance speech. Um, so, but, so I do think you're seeing more and more of that, but I think, you know, especially in the mainstream country world, that's still just an uphill battle as far as being an artist, like it. Right. And, you know, but Maren's someone that I have so much respect for because she continues to speak out. It is, that's not the norm in that field, in you know, that world. in that world. Yeah. I mean, Jason always has a theory that the chicks, the chicks had already been, had, all, had always been themselves. Mm -hmm. That statement wouldn't have been so detrimental to them. Gotcha. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. But there, you know, like, like, you know, there's a young um, 
mixer producer engineer here, Gina Johnson, that we may end up working with that, you know, is just brilliant. And she's 30 years old. Right. And, you know, she had been working with the Primes for a while and John just loved her. Right. Um, you know, I get really, and I love that she's, you know, she's third. I, when I was 30, I don't think I stood my ground the way she does sometimes. And it just, you know, I feel like this next generation is a little bit more ahead of where we were as far as self-awareness. Right. Which is, which I love, you know, and just even self-care and like, you know, when I was that age, I was just working all the time and I, you know, probably wasn't very healthy. Right. Yeah. It's inspiring. Yes. Yes. Very much so. I get it. 